This is a Kitty Color art set. And this one is a fairly deluxe art set. Certainly a lot better than the art sets that I used to have as a kid. It comes in a beautifully well-made box and it has these inserts that fold up and out. And as you see, it's two levels of stuff. So there's quite a bit of uh, stuff in here. And so I'm just gonna go over it for you uh, so you can determine if this is gonna be a good value for you. So we'll start on this side over here. And on this top tray are pencils. You get uh, a set of colored pencils and then you also get on this side a set of drawing pencils which oddly the drawing pencils when they came were not sharpened so you'll have to sharpen those um, when you get them the colored pencils did come sharpened so with the drawing pencils if you're not familiar with drawing pencils uh, drawing pencils will have indicators on the backs of them, uh, the hardness of the lead. So you get you get two 4B pencils, which means it's a softer lead, so you're gonna get a darker, uh, thicker line. And then you have your, your 2B, which is a little bit less hard. And then HB, which is pretty much the standard. It's like a number two lead pencil. And I think most people end up using HB or into these uh, higher B numbers. Interestingly enough, they did not include any H pencils, which are the harder leads and they leave a much finer line. But this is fine to start out with. You get three different pencils and they give you two of each. Um, and I'm not put off by that at all. After all, this is a kid's set or an adult set if you're a beginner. So at least gives you enough to play around with. Anyway, now the colored pencils are like this. Now I notice that these are a harder lead, pretty much a standard kids colored pencil. So these are not going to be like, for instance, a Prisma color pencil. Um, Prisma colors have softer lead. The colors tend to be thicker and richer. Uh, these are pretty much like kids' colored pencils. Now, the difference is that this set of colored pencils cost me about $80. So, obviously, there's going to be a little bit difference in quality. But for a kid, I don't think it's going to matter too much. So, let me see if I can show you. Sorry about my shaky camera angle here. Okay, so I'm going to show you, and maybe you'll be able to see it on paper, maybe you won't. So this is the Kitty Color pencil, and it makes a fairly nice line there. So, and I'm pressing fairly hard, so there's the Kitty Color. Now this is the same color in the Prisma Color, and it's... It's just a soft, you, have, you don't have to apply as much pressure. It's kind of a, a fuller color. It also smears a little bit. You can't probably see that on the, on the video, and this does not. So maybe that might even be more desirable for you. But that is the difference in the colored pencils. And the colored pencils, as I mentioned, they come already uh, sharpened for you. So then, um, so this colored pencil is on a, a tray, and you can actually take these plastic inserts out. They are held in with a little bit of glue, and even the bottom ones are held in with glue. But if you just pull on it, they'll come out. Don't, it feels like that they're going to break, but they won't. So I'm going to take out this bottom tray so you can see what's in the bottom tray. Top row here is standard crayons. When compared against Crayola, which I guess is the standard for crayons, they I couldn't tell the difference. They have a row here of oil pastels. What oil pastels are, are basically what I consider the adult version of crayons. They're a little bit 
um, more soft than crayons, so um, more pigment comes off on your paper. Um, that's about all I can say about, about those. I don't use oil pastels a whole lot. When I was in uh, college studying art, we did a segment on them, but we didn't really uh, focus too much on them. But I find them, I mean, they are. They're just like adult versions of crayons. So, and I, if I had to pick between using crayons and oil pastels, I would take oil pastels hand down, hands down because the pigment comes off on the paper so much nicer um, and, and they're fun to use. So down here, these are uh, watercolors and these are cake style watercolors. Probably if, if you uh, have children, you're probably already familiar with this style of uh, watercolor. So you just wet them down and then um, you can paint with them and then let them dry and um, you're, there, you're good to go for the next time. So then you have standard glue and some silver glitter glue, which was a nice addition. My kids always like the, the glitter glue. I guess I do too. So now we're gonna move on to this side. Now, this is the part that I really liked. These are also watercolors, but these are liquid style watercolors. So what you do is you um, squirt a little bit out, and truly, it does take a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, these are gonna last a long time. You mix it with water. Um, I guess you don't have to mix it with water, I do. And then it looks pretty, it comes out pretty much looking like the cake watercolors. The difference with these is that you can control the thickness of your, the opa opaque, I'm sorry, I can't say that, opacity, opaqueness, I don't know. You can control that better with these, just depending on, excuse me, how much water you add. So, uh, hands down, these are my favorite over the cake watercolors, but, I mean, everybody's got a different opinion, right? So, and then it comes with a palette. I have my own palette, so I don't really... <coughs> excuse me um, need to use theirs I also am a little bit picky about my brushes so I didn't use their brushes their brushes are fine they're just standard kids brushes but it's nice that they included more than one style so if you see that one has more of a flat angle on it this one comes to more of a tip. So you can actually get a little bit more creative with this set. And then there's some silver glitter glue right there and a palette knife. And then on the bottom here, again, this tray, it's held in by glue, just yank on it and it will come out. And on this tray, you have the markers. You have a huge set of markers. These markers are standard tips like this. They're not flexible tips. Like maybe you've seen um, art markers that have like a brush-like tip. These are just standard markers uh, with a very hard tip. But the, the colors all, oops, all look great. They are, and they are snapped in there really good. So before you start using these, you might want to unsnap them because they're kind of hard to get out. And then here's some more glue. You've got a pencil sharpener here. They provide you with an eraser. It's a, it's a nice one. It's soft and flexible. I kind of prefer that to the harder erasers. And then finally, they include a very small ruler, six inches. And it's clear, which I appreciate. It makes it easier for drawing. And then oddly, paper clips. I don't know what the paper clips are for. Maybe to hold your artwork in place. I don't know. Kids will come up with a use for them. But there's the set. And it's a very complete set. And as you can see, you can do professional looking things with them, even though some, some of the quality on these is more kid level. I would say out of this whole set, the most professional things in it would be the uh, 
oil pastels and the liquid watercolors. I really, really like those. Um, but again, this is a, this is supposed to be a kid's set, and I think any kid would just be bowled over to get this just because of how it's the presentation is so professional on this. And then long after your art supplies have been used, you still have this really cool box that um, you can store other things in. And it also latches, and it has a handle, so you can carry it around like a briefcase. But very cool. I'm very pleased with this.